Over 9 months have passed since the previous Fire Ant Colony update, and the colony has grown exponentially since. My name is Ender Ants, another fellow ant YouTuber, I've been dying to say that for a long time, and it's time to show you my Solenopsis Xyloni colony in a cubes and tubes setup. With this species being known to grow extremely quickly, I had moved them into a cubes and tubes setup early on when I first got them, and since then I've been adding empty test tubes for them to move into when their current one has run out of water. These test tubes have been lasting me about a couple of months, but in the hotter months in summer, I feel like they're gonna start emptying out sooner every month or so. And one time when I was on vacation, they moved into a smaller test tube meant for a water reservoir. I think I recorded that on my Instagram account, so go follow it if you haven't already. And they were pretty packed in there, like there were ants just flowing out every now and then. Just something to show how needy they are with water in their nest. they later moved on to their now current test tube. They tore out a lot of cotton from the old test tube, and I'm not quite sure why they do this, but maybe it's to help them with not slipping inside of the test tube, as seen here. Gripping to the glass seems like a universal type of thing, for most ants at least, since it also happens with my chromatogaster colony. I mean, just look at that fall. For feeding, I gave a mealworm to them for the very first time, and it was actually the remains from my Dormer Mix Bicolor colony since they couldn't completely deteriorate it. However, this year, I'm trying to reduce their protein intake because of how fast they grow. I don't really want to have them like move into a bigger setup so soon. So I'm going to try to keep them in this cubes and tube setup for maybe one more year or so until they start climbing up to the rims more often. I've been giving them more sugary foods like apples and honey, and I think they really like that.
if you've seen previous videos of them taking in food, they are pretty ruthless. Back to them climbing up to the rim, luckily for me they have stopped climbing to the top during the winter, and the one thing that I dislike about using olive oil barriers is because of the residue that sometimes drips down. Pretty nasty stuff. pretty much it makes the acrylic a bit blurred, making it harder to see the colony, but as long as I can see the queen, I think it's all good. But look at those ants. I can estimate about 100 or 200. How many can you count? I suspect this colony to explode in population when the queen starts laying more eggs, and I'm still deciding if I should move them into a formicarium when that does happen. But when that happens, I'll ask you guys first on whether they should move into a formicarium or a more natural kind of nest. And if you didn't know, nuptial flights have also started in the US, and check your weather forecast to see if the weather is good for queen ants to start flying. From what I've heard, Laceus, Dormermix, Campanatus, and Penolepis have already started their flights, so be on the lookout. That's all I have for today, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.